this. Hello, everyone. Can you all hear us? Are we, are we, are we live? When you all tell me that you can hear us. Hello, everyone. As usual, we don't quite know if we yep. have sound. So, you hear us what well? They say? they say, God, I can't even read that. Can you hear us barely? Hear us barely starting. Okay, I think we're good. Your sound. Yeah, is... are we a go? Your sound is low. Is it too quiet? Oh, we're too quiet. That's a first. So let's get the mic up nice and close. How about now? Nice and clear, somebody says. Nice Six feet apart. Clear. Six feet apart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, okay, well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you're having a. What is. How do you say happy quarantine? You don't really, but this is day one for us been interesting so far i'm trying to see if there's any way we can make the mic louder all right damon's gonna do stuff because that's what he likes to do um i think so it's it max looks like we got a pretty good group of people here i really should have my glasses on so we're gonna talk about lots of things today we made an outline the first thing okay. it says damon is going to babble for a little bit so damon you want to start babbling yeah let me see what i'm talking all about right. Sorry, I, mean, I gotta read my script. Like Damon, just babble. No. Anyway, thank you again, you guys, for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we're at home here, obviously. Um, I hope you guys are. I guess this well. is the part where Sarah. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna babble. Look at that. I'll um, just say, tell me when you're done. You just keep going. Hope you're all healthy. Hope you're all safe. Hope you're all finding something to do in V and H. I'm seeing some really funny world chat about crafting toilet paper. And anyway, not that this is funny, of course, but. Okay, I think I'm done babbling for now. More babble to come. Go. Okay, so this is my office at home where I do work when I'm not in the office. <laughs> There's yeah. a cat behind us. There's our cat. Is he coming in? Where's the kitty? Right there. Okay, I hope the kitty jumps up. Sometimes he does. He will. Anyway, uh, this is my office. You can see those are old box games behind us there. There's a bunch of them, a bunch of them from Dynamics and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to introduce you to this place. These are some of my cool books, which I did not put on here just for the live stream. There just happens to be here. This is one of the best books you can read about software development. It's pretty old, but it really explains, because a big part, obviously, of what we do is software development. I try to look at also movies to understand how they do it, because it's one of the other creative collaboration fields out there. More books. Which one is that? Design Patterns yeah. Explained. This is actually one of my favorite books on programming because it's all about architecture and about how the, the, the universal pattern of design exists in games and software and architecture and all these other things. This is Agile Software Development. It's pretty good. This is another great book. This is a, an amazing book, Programmers at Work. It's all these people from way back when. I'm just having fun showing people I told you what he was I read. Gonna babble. This is an amazing, amazing book because it's called Peopleware, and the idea was that so much was focused on software and software development, and, and organizations forgot about the people. That really, it's people that build software, so you got to think about the people as well. So it's an older book. Can I show them this one, Sarah? That's not a book. I know. Yes. Here's what's also in my office. That was from a very happy day. Okay. And so uh, we're going to talk about that later. Can we talk about one of the questions we're going to be asking you? <laughs> yeah, actually. So. Um, oh, yeah. So here we'll give you a little heads up. So as you all know, we're going to give you a little bit of teaser, a little little kind of a, some hints. We'll make it a little fun. You guys can get an idea of what we're working on because we are definitely working on something, working very hard. And... It's going to be a little tricky now being at home, but we think we can work it out um, for the most part. And then we're going to do some, we're going to show you some other stuff in game that's kind of fun that you haven't seen. And then we're going to do some prize giveaways and you're going to have to answer some questions, which is what Damon was talking about there. Um, so that'll be fun. And then we'll do a very brief Q&A, but you can't ask us anything about the teaser stuff that we showed you because we're not going to tell. Mostly not. All right, so let's finish the babbling part. Oh, so yes. the other thing is, so people were asking how we're doing. We're totally fine. Uh, we, as of uh, midnight last night, the governor of Oregon issued an order that said you must stay at home. And uh, well, here's the actual text of the order. 
you know, Washington and California already did this, and so Oregon. Uh, luckily, uh, we're a little more remote where we are, so this uh, the virus hit Oregon a little later. Especially, we're not even in Portland; we're in Eugene, so it took a while to get here. And so the order is: all businesses with offices in Oregon shall facilitate telework and work at home by employees to the maximum extent possible. Work in offices is prohibited whenever telework and work at home options are available. In light of position duties, availability of teleworking equipment and network adequacy. So basically, to the extent that we can develop the game from home, we'll do that. So uh, I might occasionally have to go into the office to reboot servers if necessary, blah, 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 get equipment. But at this point, all of us are at home. so. We're totally safe, everything's fine. Uh, our lives really haven't changed much other than we're totally <laughs> not seeing people, but we kind of are, you know, hermits other, except for going into the office. That's the big change. So uh, seem, things seem fine, so we'll see. No, no. Oh, that's fine. And the biggest the biggest thing we're worried about is that when you build a game, creative collaboration with talking to people one-on-one -on -one and well, in, in team meetings, together as humans is very useful. Yes, yeah, so we learned that already this morning when we all tried to do a voice chat on Slack and it was just weird, I don't know. We'll get used to it for the next six weeks or more, yeah. but uh, I don't like it. I'm not gonna anyway. speculate, but I do know Bill Gates thought the Imperial Report was a little uh, overly pessimistic. The Imperial Report was kind of the, the, the number one cited study about how we handle this and what the effects will be and Bill Gates actually studies this too so I'm hoping well I don't I'm not a prognosticator so I'll just keep my dumb mouth shut wow. I'm just gonna say I'm hopeful that uh, we'll get this behind us uh, in a while and not too long but I don't want to be the news guy to say what's what so I'll keep my mouth shut so I'm just hopeful that we'll get this behind us and everything so blah 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 Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. How, well, did, did we lose everyone with that uh, pretty boring bit? <laughs> well, people ask how we're doing. They're, so all, they're all talking to each other about other stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, I just got this elder. Disc. Oh, yeah. How are the elder drops now, by the way? Pretty good? We just Everybody pushed. Everybody getting those loot drops? Yeah, we, we just pushed a server fix this morning. So that will fix the elder loot, here, hopefully. Here, our server over here. Oh, there's Eber. Oh, good. I have a job for you later, Eber. <laughs> Glad you're on that chat. Um, okay. Villagers and heroes. Yeah, I can't read any of that from here. Okay, what should we do next, Damon? Do you think maybe we should talk a little about what we're working on? What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I, I sort of heard that the community was curious. Did you? You want to do the the teaser? So. No, you can read it. Okay. Um, so. So well, let's just tell them about what 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 they're about to what's going on here. Don't you think? Uh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we're about to give you a teaser. It's not probably what you were expecting, but it's how we're doing this, just to give you an idea and maybe get your guess guesswork going and whatnot. Um, yeah, maybe I just, we just won't even say anything. You'll just have to sit back and listen. You're going to have to do a little listening now. This is what you want, Sarah? Well, isn't that what we were doing? I know, I'm asking you. What do you think? Anyway, so... Uh... So we don't want to talk too much about the feature, just to say we are working very hard and uh, we think it's cool, um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> We're going to be all cryptic. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Dude. So we want to do a little neat. promo. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this now, okay? I'm going to read a little story. Are they ready? Say, Long are G. you ready? What does this mean? Sarah the side eye. <laughs> Sarah the side eye. Me? What does that mean? Roll my eyes? She does roll her eyes. I know that. What? Is it Sarah's babbling moment now? They want to know, Sarah. Oh, don't worry. I will, the babbling will come. All right, I'm gonna let me do this real quick. I'm gonna blow this up so I can see it. There you go. And then I want to do this so I can read it better because the font is too small. And I'm gonna preface this too with um, Damon loves to read aloud. It's one of his favorite things to do. Um, at least this time you're getting advance warning. Usually what happens to me is I'll be say watching a movie and it'll be like a very crucial scene. And he'll whip out his phone and then suddenly feel the need to recite to me some latest chess player's life story or something like that. But luckily, you guys get advance warning 
and this isn't the life history of a chess player. So, now are you excited? <laughs> I thought it was funny that when Sarah meant to say advance warning and she was talking about me, she said advance morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's Damon making a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going to be a long quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read here. Uh, here we go. This Sit is, back. This is some backstory for what's coming up. Don't so. We should have music. Sound. Here, I'll no, no. I will supply sound effects. No, no, as no, he reads. no, no, no! Don't make it cheesy, because this is good writing, Sarah. So, uh, start right here, right? Well, that is the first sentence, dear. Well, there's this too. Okay. Live stream teaser text. Did you want to read that a lot? No. Did you? All right. So, Sarah, <laughs> okay. let's get in a serious mood now, because it's supposed to be okay. serious. This is dun back. dun dun. There we go. I had to do it. One. All right. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Go for it. Recently in the Seven Realms, a significant event took place, an unusual phenomenon which, while at first ominous, revealed itself to, in fact, be a portent of good and, and it became a day for celebration and rejoicing, not fear. The event was an eclipse, and though the world seemed briefly to have been drowned in darkness, when the warmth and brightness of the sun did again appear in the sky, it brought with it too the glorious arrival of the shaman. A new era of hope and promise had begun, or so it seemed. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there were some in the land, those well-versed in old magics, who felt something shift, some imperceptible thing they could not name, slip ever so slightly in those few moments of darkness brought on by the eclipse as if the great force of the natural phenomenon had caused a fissure somewhere, a tearing of sorts in the careful balance of the order of things. And in the days and weeks following the eclipse, though nothing precise could be articulated, strange occurrences began to take place around Ardent. There were whispers of travelers on lonely roads who had mysteriously vanished. Dun, dun, dun or of loved ones who would go missing for days, only to reappear again much changed. Their minds, once sharp and clear, had grown muddled and terrified. They trembled in fear, as if a great horror had descended upon their souls, as if they had witnessed unbearable sights which could not be unseen. Some would merely scream for hours at a time before falling into nightmare-laden sleeps. Others would hum an eerie melody, a haunting tune for days on end. And though, were some, and though there were some who did speak, their words, odd utterings, were cryptic and made little sense. They spoke of a shimmering black triangle. Others whispered about a shadowy chasm deep in the belly of the realm. Some made mention of a child long absent who had returned, yet had never left, they said and still others would simply repeat a single word over and over again, two syllables, which struck fear into the hearts of all those who hear, heard it. Malak. Dun, dun, dun. When the bizarre rumors reached Arden Castle, the king sent out a group of his best heroes to determine the origin of these wild tales and to find out just what strange occurrence, if any, had been triggered by the eclipse. But none of the king's heroes were ever seen or heard from again, nor did the black thrush claim responsibility for the group's disappearance, as they usually did, by leaving black feathers as tokens behind. The king's group had last been seen on a rocky path with a scenic view of the whole of the realm and had seemingly vanished without a trace into the strange fog that day. Another group of heroes was dispatched after them, some weeks later, one of them, dying and badly beaten, a warrior stumbled out of the fog. The lone survivor of his party, he had news for King Leo and was desperate to deliver, deliver his message. The m young man reached the castle and collapsed in death, but not before his ominous words were heard by the king. The warrior spoke of a secret entrance, an ancient door long hidden by dark magics, which had been exposed by the eclipse. He whispered a nightmarish nether region inside, a primordial chasm which had been in the existence before them all since as far back as the time of the great battle, when the legendary Thor and Malak had all perished. But soon the young man's words grew more jumbled as he tried to continue. 
He spoke of a vast, dark triangle, pyramid-like in size, yet unending within, which housed horrors the likes of which he had never seen before. At length the dying warrior trailed off. His final murmured words were a warning. The fifth child has returned and must not be allowed to succeed. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So that's what we're working on. That's, uh, those are Sarah's beautiful words. I don't know about that, but that's what we're working on. You know, so you don't actually get to see what we're working on. Although we do have a little bit of something for you to see. Anyway, yeah, show that was, them, uh, show that, them the next. I think they all need to recover from that. That was something. Well, let's see what the guesswork is going on. Any guesswork? Dun dun dun! There it is. We got some dun dun dars. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that? I loved uh, it. I got, I got. Uh, first time I read that, I got uh, goosebumps. Uh, the devs. Show them, show them the art stuff. Okay. Uh, show them. Oh yes, it's on it's the script that she <laughs> Look gave at me. That. She does that. Okay. I tell them what to. So inside. we're gonna show this part first. So, are you ready? Here we go. We're going to tease you more. Ooh, shall we do it together now? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You're supposed to do that with me, Damon. Okay. If that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to comment see. other than to say, <laughs> what could it be? What could it be? Ooh. All right. So... <laughs> So we'll give it, this next one I'm not going to show as long. We can show on. Ready? Show on. Go on. What does it say? What is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's <laughs> frightening, Damon. What is it? What could it be? <laughs> Literally like, oh my God, what is it? What does it say? It says the fifth child returns. Yes. What is it? Anyway, and Things that's... Things that make you go... Hmm. And I'm sure you all know that was uh, that beautiful artwork was done by... Ever, who should be on that Twitch chat somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good thing. So we're going to get a little promo site going where you can all look at those images a little more carefully. Yeah, that will be coming up. And we'll be, uh, we'll be releasing teasers through the coming weeks uh, yes. and... And to herald the arrival of something, a, a new feature perhaps, it, more content is it a perhaps. Or is it an expansion? Or what is it what exactly? Is it? <laughs> so, and there, you know, I, I don't want to, we want to work on it more before we start bragging about it too much, but I think it's going to be cool. I think you all will like it. Yeah, obviously that was the goal. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about texture and a sopper tree now fun that'll be fun <laughs> okay popcorn time I'm texture gonna, anastropathy i'm gonna show you all something really it's a very small little technical win we got recently you uh, got very mad scientisty about it though it well was it wasn't all me. the rage it was all uh ever and liam got this thing going they did but damon mentally got very into it so this is uh the game and it's gonna be really hard to see on uh, Twitch because it's uh, it's small and there's texture compression going on so it's a thing called texture anisopatry it's it anisopatry means yeah it's a n as in not and then isotropy you know trope uh, I think trope means shape and it so, means other things. And so iso means same. So it means not isotropy, not same shape. So uh, blah, blah, blah. But if you look at this shot right here, uh, apparently this feature's been available the whole time, but we just never turned it on. I'm sure people that know graphics know, know what it is, but uh, uh, it wasn't working. And so you can see uh, on that rug in the distance how it's blurry and the stones are blurry as well. So now if we turn this thing on like this. Uh, Is there a new setting for it? Yeah, it's, well, I think it was already there, but yeah, it wasn't it was working. Yeah. But it wasn't working. Now it actually works. And so, let's see. I'm trying to see if it's actually, yeah, it is. I think it's working. So if you see when I turn that on and I turn it off, it's going to get blurry in the distance. 
See how that, see how the rug gets blurry or whatever? And the brick gets blurry. Not the hugest thing in the world, but it's just nice because it was basically a freebie. I didn't even see what the difference was. Will it affect mobile? Ah, uh, yeah, actually it will too. It'll make mobile a little nicer. It basically has to do with when you have sort of uh, details in the distance on a texture, they get blurred out into nothingness. So it basically just increases the, the uh, visual fidelity of it. So now Sarah, uh, I'm gonna switch zones to a better zone for the next thing. What is the next thing? Uh, let me, g oh. give me one sec, I'll, I'll, I'll help you here. Just let me, I'm gonna go back to here and um, then I'm gonna zone to a nice, what's a good nice outdoor zone? Something meadowy, I don't know. You pick one, it's elk oh, meadow. Elk meadow, there you go. I think it's elk meadow is technically meadowy. Feel, you think? Yeah, I yeah, think it's meadowy. How those words work. So okay. you're gonna talk about this, right? That's right. I don't have much to say, but I'll say it well. <laughs> okay. First, we're gonna show you something. Okay. So we were. How do I put this? Yeah. We were actually not gonna share this, but it seems like, given the way days have gone and the way things are, everybody cooped up. It'd be nice to have a little something to look forward to. We we're gonna hold this back and keep it a surprise till April. But um, Easter's coming, so we have a couple of things to share. One is, show them, Damon. Okay. First, I want to show Bunnies! <laughs> the word is bunnies! Okay. See, I told you I'd say it well. Bunnies! Well, yes, that's a, are you, are you Anya? <laughs> <laughs> what? Anya. Oh, from Buffy. Yeah. She hates bunnies. Which one do you want to see first? Let's do them the white one. So get ready for bunny mounts! Yay for bunny mounts! Isn't it cute? And he twitches and he does funny things and he'll eat grass. Isn't that a big cute bunny? And did you like that? Oh, you're trying to get the kitty. There he stands there, up. There and he goes like this and he does little funny things. Kenzo. Um and wild bunny comes in black and comes in brown. You want to do another sure. one? Sure. Why don't you move around a bit? Or... Look how cute it is, though. See? Just a little something for Easter. And I know Layla is like, where's my bunny tail outfit that I've been asking for 10 oh, years? Oh, you know what, Sarah? <laughs> what? They can't see it. We're all talking, but we're not. we didn't switch back to the oh game. Oh, my God. You guys haven't seen the bunny? Oh, my. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's the bunny. There you go. See? Sorry. Now I can do this and does this. That was and... pretty bad. Wow. See, this is what how quarantine's gonna go. We're just gonna get dumber and dumber and dumber. <laughs> well, we're not really a video streamer people. Um. Well, move it around a bit. Move the cute bunny around. You gotta talk in a baby voice when you look at the bunny, cause it just looks like a big cute bun. Look at the cute bunny. <laughs> See, who doesn't love a bunny for Easter? By the way, our cats think. Oh, look how fast it goes! Yeah, all of your when your cats see it, they're gonna get all like, like, like they're gonna wanna get it. Yes. Right, Enzo. Enzo? Should we get Enzo? Yeah, go get Enzo. Come here, Enzo. You want to put the bunny? I think he's scared because he doesn't know what's going on. Oh, he fled. Never mind. No, go find him. No, he just literally ran away. He knows something's going on. Da 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 da. Oh, that's too bad. I was going to show you Enzo. Some of you might know that name from the game, in fact. Let's show one of the other bunnies. They named our cat one of the NPCs in the game. The uh, Marilla story, you know, Enzo's dish and all that. Anyway. That's Wild Bunny. Woo, wild Bunny, look wild how fast bunny. he goes. You got to talk in the baby voice. Uh, okay. Come on, do it. Okay. I will talk in the baby no, voice. No, that's not a baby voice. Baby face Malone. No, that's a stupid voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a baby voice. <laughs> and there's one more bunny. And there's one more bunny. So big thanks to Ever for getting these hooked up. Um, they're going to go live in the store April 1st, which is also my favorite day for a different reason. <laughs> um, so that's fun. And then the other bit of news is... Um, we know that a lot of you just absolutely hate this thing that we used to do many years ago. I mean, you guys hate hated it. It was this silly thing where you'd be in a zone all of a sudden there'd be a, an Easter egg and you'd kill it and some fun surprise would pop out and there were just eggs everywhere in every zone you never knew where you'd find them and we know how much you guys did not like that so we stopped doing that. So that's the news. No, I'm just kidding. 
There will be eggs, is the news. <laughs> there will be eggs. There will be eggs. There will be eggs. Uh, April 1st, the Easter egg hunt will be live. So we'll keep it live all of April, which means you'll have goodies and that fun little surprise when you're running around. All of a sudden it's like, yay, Easter egg, yay. Makes you feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Sarah? Yes, it does. Well, it doesn't. Well, it sort of does. Uh, anyway, we didn't actually... Should I tell them how we didn't test it? Uh, <laughs> we kind of did. We kind of did. Okay, we didn't We didn't uh, tell our testers about it because we were actually trying to keep it a surprise. But um, we're pretty sure nothing will break with them. Pretty sure. Yeah, we want to keep stuff going, coming in the game. Yeah, but so we've actually already got it. It's already live. We just haven't turned it on. Yeah. So and all of this is live. So which anyway. is beautiful when we can just turn something on whenever yes. we want. So all yeah. of this will start April first, and that'll be really fun. Yeah, we've wanted to do this thing for a long time where we can turn event zones on and off just with a like a server prof or whatever, because um, it would be so much easier uh, for us because we have to push builds to turn events on and off, and at the end of every meeting or not every meeting, but uh, Liam would say something like, I can't remember oh, yeah, the words, it? but it's when something... When are going to do event zone? You know what, I gotta, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. I'm sorry. You, keep You keep you talking about... Um, uh, well, I don't even know what you're looking up. Um, okay, bunnies, bunnies. Anyway. Um, Sarah, will you sing the bunny song from the musical? I absolutely will not. Um, does anyone have any questions about bunnies? <laughs> Bunnies are evil. I can't, oh, let's see. I can't really read from here. I see Luke there. Hey, Luke. The movement of the... I really can't read that. Bunnies are ah. very nice, he says. Okay. Yeah, wait till you see them hop, dude. They're going to hop. I like them. They're fun. So here's the, what I wanted to... This is how Liam would always end the meetings because we always wanted Did to... Did you find it? Yeah, because we oh, always... Oh, that! Okay. And so Liam, uh, he took Latin, and so he would always say, Carthago... Delenda est, <laughs> which is Carthage must die. So apparently in ancient Rome, every time they ended a speech because they hated Carthage so much, every senator would just automatically say, Carthage must die at the end of every speech. And so we would always, he would always say it like, he would say, event tech, yeah. event tech, because we always wanted event tech. Years and years. And unfortunately, true. we never got it. We so <laughs> we, it was the ability to turn... Uh, Yes. So it's <laughs> basically exactly. Nice, Karen. So we nice. can just turn it on and off automatically. And we never got that in place because we're working on other stuff. But Sean was able to do it with the Easter eggs. And we'd never been, been able to do that before. Yeah. I think you all remember that one time the eggs stayed around for like nine months after Easter. And anyway, that was why because we didn't have the tech to do that. But Sean, our new guy, Total Wiz, was able to do that. Yay. Yeah, so we got, it, we got it hooked up so that one we can do that way, which is cool. Okay, what's next? So that's what you have to look forward to there. Oh, play balance stuff. Here we go. This is stuff um, that, <laughs> that I like. I have fun doing it. Um, so let me tell you about, we've been doing a little bit of play balance lately to try to get, like most recently we were balancing uh, the Lightning Warrior's ability to generate threat. Um, and we still don't have it quite yet. Right? I think there might be a little bug where it's yes, actually, it might bugs. be generating too much threat now. Uh, Y'all should test it, but I did a little test and it looks like Lightning Warriors are now generating six times more threat than before, and it should be more like two and a half times more threat. But we'll see. I'm still play balancing it and I'm listening to everyone's feedback or whatever. But uh, the general approach I want to take on the play balance is not like play balance every single spell and feat in the game instead it's uh okay i'm gonna be boring now sarah can i be boring? You? what <laughs> can i talk about rocks in a jar oh god <laughs> did you hear what she said <laughs> i love this story it's one of my favorite oh you guys no 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 put the book down <laughs> this is uh where I came across this story right here. This is where I came across the rocks in a jar story. I love this story. It's one of my favorite stories. It's about development and building stuff. And so rocks in a jar is this guy gets up and he gives a little lecture and he says uh, in front of a room and he 
takes a jar and he takes a bunch of rocks and he puts them into the jar. He says, is it full? And everybody says, yeah, it's full. And he goes... <laughs> Maybe that very late Larry David like. Yeah, and then he takes some gravel out and he pours <clears throat> it in around and it flows down and around and he gets he gets it filled up with, you know, because there's little spaces in there. And he fills it in and he says, okay, now is it full? And they're like, yeah, it's full. And then he gets out some sand and he pours the sand in there and it fills up even more. And he goes, okay, but now is it full? And they say, yeah, yeah, it's full, it's full. Then he gets water out and he's able to pour even more in. And so he gets it done and he goes, what's, what's the lesson here? And uh, he asks everybody, and uh, I, don't, I don't remember what their guesses were. Maybe you all can guess what you think the, the, the lesson is. Uh, I don't know, deep philosophies or whatever. But, but the actual answer in this story is put the big things in first, the little things will take care of themselves. And so... Wasn't that a very long way to get there? Which would defeat the purpose of the story. Like, you should have just... Started with no, because words are empty and meaningless, as we know from Zen. Well, it depends who's delivering them. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> without, anyway, why, without, don't we, why don't you explain how this relates to game balance? Well, I would, now. but I can't get any words out. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're so empty and meaningless, I can't even see them. Okay, yeah. Well, you gotta have the, the You have to under. You have to grok it on a very deep level sorry, to I understand. Have to walk it to grok. G R O K. We're making up words now. <laughs> oh, come on! The word grok. Grok. Come on, grok. Bedrock, maybe. The like Flintstones. Here. Grok. Grok. It's the word grok. Grok. You gotta grok it. See, Ever knows it's a word. Grok. Oh, okay. It means to understand on a deep, visceral level. And so, anyway. So the story is, I want to fix big, obvious play balance problems before I, before we even deal with the little stuff. So basically, we're just trying to fix the really big play balance things that are way off. And so that's what's going on with rocks in a jar. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. aren't you so glad you heard that? <laughs> yeah, six feet. I don't want to. People, oh, one. we're too close to each other, Sarah. <laughs> so, Sarah, the <laughs> that's not over. That's not it's a true. word. Well, it, it, <laughs> and even, I mean, and who would say that anyway? Grok. Oh, the cool kids say it, honey. Terrible word. It's a gestalt word. It has to do with oh, gestalt. Way to, way to throw that in there. It was, it's very 70s, very 60s and 70s. Grok, Grok was all the Grok. rage. Really? Yeah, it was probably a word that was popular. I'm still Googling this as soon as we're done. I'm going to look up if this is even true. And it probably was not in the 60s. It was, it was probably we used, bet on it? It was, we bet on it? It was probably before you were born, honey. So, so you're too young to know the word. Okay. You weren't born. Well, actually, you were born. Like yeah, I was time, born before you. <laughs> Way before. Okay, I'm gonna Google later, and I'm, will you do the dishes tonight if I'm right? I'm already doing the dishes. Oh, I yeah, think you are. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we if, bet on dishes. We'll do it the other way. If it's if it is a word, you have to do the dishes. How about that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> she says no. I only like certain victory. <laughs> she likes certain victory only. Uh, just like Alexander the Great. Um. And so anyway, on the Lightning Warrior, yeah, we made, we made the fix. We put we basically put it into uh, here. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, whoops. I can't show you unless I open it to the game. Thank you very much. Oh, that was our problem last time. Yeah. yeah. So basically, four of these ultimates now boost threat. Uh, if you look on the tool tips, it doesn't yet say that they're boosting threat. Uh, oh, it does actually. No, this is single player. You guys aren't going to see these tool tips yet. Are you on a test? Oh. So yeah, these okay. these now boost threat. Uh, Forty percent for this one, which by the way, this is getting renamed to Will to Live instead of uh, it's, it's alive. alive. That was just a little change. I I just thought it's alive was a strange name because it's a pop culture reference to the movie. Young Frankenstein. No, just Frankenstein. To Frankenstein, it's alive, but really, it's it's more the warrior's will to live. Anyway, so forty percent boost here, forty percent boost here. Uh, I think this is twenty percent boost here, and ten percent boost here. I'm sorry, not here, but here. Yeah, okay. So ten, twenty, forty, forty. So, and the reason I put these into the ultimates, there were a million recommendations on the forums. It was because this one, A, accomplished the goal of 
you have to be you have to spec in lightning warrior to get these boosts you can't just wear some random rune or gear so if you're specking in these things you're not specking another thing you're not choosing talents from these other lines so you are being a lightning warrior if you choose these you are being a lightning warrior and then second of all because uh, just the way the code was set up this was easy to implement uh, I didn't have to do a major refactor to add the boosts there so that's what that was but that's just one play balance change I can continue to make adjustments what I want to see uh, is that there's widespread consensus before we start tweaking these things. I sort of don't want to do anything that upsets half the community. Um, I want it to be like, oh, uh, you know, pretty much even the people that have, like for instance, if I were to nerf something, I want even the people that play that class to be like, yeah, we have to admit it's probably a little overpowered, you know. I don't want to just annoy people. And then I want to have data to back it up to say that this it's a good change. So I want to go slow and uh, make these play balance changes as we go because we're get, basically we're gonna in a game like this you're gonna always be play balancing but I don't want to make big changes without widespread consensus so that's my long-winded blah 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 okay I'm done with that Sarah <laughs> well that's good I mean this, this has been an ongoing issue for okay some time all right so are we doing uh, Q and A now is that the next or thing we can do prizes it says right there Q and A okay so okay. let me switch this real quick yeah, to we'll humans humans so we're humans i think are we still human so far so since we're doing q a let's blow this up so we can see it so yeah more damage is always good yeah except for when it's not who <laughs> <laughs> said that someone says more damage is always good sure we can we can just add more damage so it's infinite damage and everybody can kill everything with one blow all right it's like only eating dessert all day long it's not fun in there after a while Okay, so we're going to do a really short Q&A. Um, Are we? Yeah. No, it's going to be long. It's going to be a nice or long Q&A. guess it might be long. But again, don't grill us on the, the new stuff because, well, it's actually Damon who's rabidly secretive about it. I'm, I'm usually all for just, why is it a secret? But it's just some old game dev thing he has, so that's how that goes. Anyway, Well, go I ahead. just, I want us to be able to, I don't want to do all of our promotion and teasers uh, and then have it be a long time before it goes live because that's just dumb. I want us to be able to be promoting it as we prepare to the launch, you know, because if it's way ahead of time, that's just a total waste. So, and I also don't want to promise stuff until I'm more certain that it's working. We've got to complete that part. I agree with. Yeah, <laughs> things are really different now because of having to work at home. So. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. So anyway, blah blah blah. Okay, someone says Sarah's the best. Oh. Get good God says it. All right, uh, ask questions now, please. All right. If you have any. The floor is yours, and we will babble out the answers, but we'll try to keep them short. ETF launch. Uh, that's exactly the kind of thing I don't want to talk <laughs> yep, about. Yeah. Nope. You get it. You're just gonna err eh, on that one. Uh, can I say that it will be not weeks away, but not years. <laughs> That's probably... I can say it'll this. It'll be less than a year and it'll be more than a it'll week. It'll be less than it took us to get out Starfall. But you don't know what that means. Or they Star don't know what that means. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be more than a week and it'll be less than a year. How about that? It's not going to be a year. Oh, just give him... Oh, come on. No, can't we give him that's something? All, no, See, what we'll do I've is... Never, he's always well, the, fun, the stopper Every fun. time we do a live like, stream... Like, let's just tell him. Like, like, I know what it every is. time we do it, we'll bring the, the, the range in closer and closer oh. to reality. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be in 2020. I can promise you that. But it won't be in the month of March. I can promise you that. So that doesn't mean it's April, by the way, either. So don't. Okay. New question. Let's see here. What will the warrior be like? Uh, will it be like? You said, I really need my glasses. My name what class. Will can I the expect warrior... her to be good as she was in beta? In beta? Beta was a long, long time ago. And a very different everything well the tweaks to the warrior were really just threat tweaks for lightning warrior we didn't touch fury we didn't touch the hybrid the the in between so we just touched fury threat generate i'm sorry lightning threat generation so it's not we didn't make any other alterations it was mainly because what was happening was uh lightning warriors weren't able to maintain threat and 
and their goal is to take the uh, damage so that other characters in the game don't have to. So that was the tweak to the warrior, the lightning warrior. I might also make some bosses hit for more damage. Not all, just a few. But the goal there is that people aren't going to want it. So, so what was happening was other classes were like, hey, I'm going to take the threat and I'm going to spam damage and spam mana pots or whatever, you know, and and uh, just to show off or whatever. And they just, and they have healers backing them up. But if the boss hits for way more damage, you're not going to want to do that because <laughs> it's going to kill you even if you're backed up by a healer, unless you're a lightning warrior and you've got a lot of armor. So I went, but that's just, that's just, it'll be a few bosses here and there. So it'll be like, oh, we really got to get a tank on this one. There's absolutely no way we'll ever survive without one. You know, that's the concept there. Okay, more questions. Any more questions here? Um, you're going to be able to read that far better than I can. Can we find bunnies in the eggs, even though that would be, okay. I don't think that's hooked up. I love your idea, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> that <would> be... <laughs> oh, that would have been cool. No, we don't have yeah, that. that's a no-go. <laughs> I should, yeah. What else do we see? Bunnies in the crown store only. Uh, yes, because we don't have an actual event zone where people can earn them. Ah, we don't have an right. Easter zone. So, so unfortunately, yeah. the, there's no giveaways until we do Midsummer. However, we do have this little wonderful group called the VH Event Committee, and I know we have some, we're starting to gear up to work on some spring events, which means I think we should give away some bunnies. You know what? How about on April 1st, we, we do giveaways on all the servers. We'll do the random lottery. Some of you guys remember I did that ages ago. That's what we'll do. On every server, at least two players will randomly get two bunnies. Three bunnies, because there's three different kinds. There we go. What are these bunnies? They will be bunnies. Well, let's show the bunnies again. Can we show the bunnies again? Yeah, just because somebody said, what, are, what do you mean? What are the bunnies? There's a bunny. Oh, they still can't see it. There's a bunny. So that's a bunny. That's a it's bunny. A There's a black bunny and a brown bunny and a white bunny. That's one bunny. Look out, bunny! Look out, bunny! There's a wolf run, coming! Run, run, Get run, away from run. the wolf, bunny! <laughs> Woo! Do the hop the hop. Hop, hop, No, hop. the hop's not good. Oh, you don't want to hop? Yeah, all right. No. Woo! Get away from the wolf, bunny! Get away from the wolf, bunny! Okay, he said that. Look out! You wanted me to talk like a baby, Sarah. <laughs> that's not talking like a baby. That's talking like an idiot. <laughs> What are you talking about, Sarah? Woo! There's the bunny. Maybe we should go back to Q&A now. <laughs> you wanted me to do it. I did. Well, they want to see the bunny. All right. How about Gee, another question? Sarah. We can't read the Gee, question. Gee, Sarah, you don't like bunnies. What's wrong with you? Are you I'm Anya? The, I'm the one who did the whole You're bunny You're a vengeance thing. demon, aren't you? He's like, we have to have bunnies. Get the bunnies. Sarah's a vengeance demon. He's really on the Buffy kick today. Well, we're probably going to end up watching it all over again when we're quarantined. Anyway, new question. Again, I cannot see, so Damon needs to read them. I really should just run all the way downstairs and get my glasses, but I'm... Really I want to see a bunny, elder carrots, da-da-da-da. <laughs> the hops, okay. Are you satisfied with how the dungeon... Can you add a drink vendor in the hidden canyon tower in Trader's Path? A drink vendor? Uh, like buy, buy potions and stuff. <laughs> <Hell>. <laughs> you got me all excited have there, a bar dude. Come that on. Is bring your own beer. Uh, I don't oh, think we yeah. are. Oh yeah, there be no fucking fee the whole bit. The shaman. Let's see. The shaman. Hold on. Where is this? I can't see it. The shaman comes over way too strong. It looks like we don't need the other four classes anymore. Was that on purpose? Uh, <laughs> we don't need the other four classes. So, well, that's that's the kind of thing that would be good on the forums to back up the thing. If you're saying the shaman's too strong, then we have to talk about it on the forums and have everybody talk about it so and everyone has... Bring your numbers. Yeah, we need numbers. Data. We need stuff like, well, in what way is it too strong? Do you mean it does too much damage? Do you, or do you mean it does too much threat? Do you mean it heals too well? That kind of thing. And, so, and then we open it up as a group discussion so we get... Um, we don't need a hundred percent consensus, but basically, if you know the majority of the players feel it's a, a class has some specific areas where it's overpowered, uh, clearly overpowered, and um, there's data to back that up, then we can we can adjust play balance. But I just don't want to sort of willy nilly make alterations like that. You know, obviously. 
Uh, will there ever be an adjustment? Unfortunately, this thing keeps tweaking. Will there ever no, be an adjustment to level experience for 75 to 90? Uh, I don't know. Not right Not right now. I assume you mean to make it easier to go from 90, 75 to 90. Can you get crowns without paying actual money? Uh, occasionally, there's... I Fan Friday! Every week you have a chance to do that. Yeah, there you go. Gotta do Fan the, Friday, that's how you do it. Creative work together and give it a whirl. Uh, let's see. Boy, I'm just... It's all scrolling past, so I'm just going to go to the bottom because I can't seem to. Somebody says, Earth shamans are balanced. So I think that <laughs> means don't touch my Earth shaman. on the forums, but yeah, definitely post. Oh, please. It's not too strong. Others are just too weak. There okay. it is. <laughs> so it's not like we, we want everybody to gang up on every other class. You know, obviously, you don't want that. We want balance, so it's fun. So if something's like clearly overpowered, or if something's really outside of its scope, like Fury Warriors should not be at the top of the threat generation because that's obviously not the concept of the class. And that's why we made that adjustment or whatever. Because, I mean, ideally if a Fury Warrior goes insane and just starts spamming mana pots, they could actually take threat briefly, but that should be punished by a boss to say, you don't want to do that. But they shouldn't be able to do it routinely. It should be that if the Lightning Warrior is working hard, the Fury Warriors, you know, they're not going to be able to re reach them. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay. It's, it's just balance. I mean, blah, blah, blah. So. Will, rankings, will rankings be implemented again? As Oh, yeah, the rankings. You mean the website thing? The character rankings. Um, uh, no, it's not a feature that exactly. is easy for us to do anymore because things changed around a lot. Okay, we're not looking to like uh, nerf stuff like crazy, by the way. So don't don't get all worried about it. Again, these are going to be conversations on the forums, and uh, everyone's going to have a chance to voice their concerns about it. So, okay. Uh, what I wish else? Someone would tell me my boss is wrong. Make a bit of news and controversy as well. All classes are equal. I don't see any questions so far. Have you ever thought about villager message boards in towns? We have! It's one of those, what we call, goes on our wish list. We have a very long wish list of just, just fun, uh, constructive things that would be great, that would be super efficient, but um, immediate plans, no. Well, no. I would want to <laughs> know, what would a village message board accomplish that village mail cannot? It was, a, it was actually a thing that we wrote up with. No, I know, but I'm. Someone. But I mean, basically, just because we have to carefully choose our features, if we already have, if there's already a way for players to accomplish the same thing. Instead of working on that feature, we could work on something else, <coughs> like. <coughs> well, it'll be public. You wouldn't have to like, <laughs> privately receive a mail. With like the thing. a giant black triangle, for example. <laughs> yes. We know y'all would rather have a giant black, black triangle. triangle. That's way more important than village uh, message But boards. anyway, whoever asks that, I I'm all for that feature myself. There's there's a bunch of things that I'm all for that are on the wish list that really wish would happen but not anytime soon oh, things are going by fast yeah let's see we got another question there are we doing, doing new classes now? uh not right now didn't we, we just we did. do one <laughs> well it would be nice if we did one every year but right. uh, that's not gonna happen because we, we have to work on this dark well frame. and that was really <laughs> a, a bit of wizardry that uh uh cameron pulled uh and he's not here now so uh he was just able to crank that thing out so uh, it's not the feature we're working on now. Right now we're working on a giant black triangle instead. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to say about that. Because everybody needs a blind, giant black triangle in their life, yeah, don't you think? Yeah, they do. Uh, can we get a Zog trader in Arden City? Sure. I think we could do that. That seems like an easy one. Uh, where are they? Where's the Zog trader I don't know. I went up, or I don't, whoever asked the question, I didn't catch the name. Is but... it the Derek Fair or something? Um, I'm, I'm yeah, not... we could do that. I like that. Sure. Sarah, you, why not? You gonna code it, Sarah? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> You're set with classes. Can you make um, blight most tradable? Will Easter? No. Uh, that's not probably. Will not Easter happen. costumes be back? Yes, Sarah? Easter costumes will be back. They're already in the build that we just pushed. We just haven't turned them on yet. So that'll happen on April first too. You can all hippity hop in your bunny outfits and ears. And the cute little tuxedo one. I always like that one. 
In fact, I think one of my tunes is still wearing it from four years ago at Easter. Anyway. <laughs> Ever. Could we... What did you Ever saying, I know what the triangle is. <laughs> I wonder why you know, Ever. <laughs> it's the darkness. It's the darkness in all of our souls. Yeah. Will, Sarah, will Sarah learn to code? Yeah, no. I don't see myself learning to code. I'm good at typing commands that other people code for me, typing them in and make them happen, but yeah, no coding. When will Sarah learn to code? She actually <laughs> did. She took a class at the OO and she, read some, she wrote some code. Oh, that's right. I made a movie website for my final project. Yeah, you did. That was a long, long, long time you ago. Coded. I you don't coded. remember Java anymore. That was the only language I learned in it. Uh, I was just transferred to Destiny. That's all. It would be nice to have a use for medallions. Always just throw them away. Yeah, that's not really a question, so we'll just agree with you. It would be nice to have a use for medallions. Um, so, yeah, Eber's right. The, tr the black triangle is the darkness in our soul. Um, okay, I'm gonna be can I be pretentious now, Sarah? Must you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking permission. Wow, he's asking permission to be pretentious. Everyone, this is going to, whatever it is, we're about to suffer. So, hang on. One of my favorite quotes, which I don't... Oh, God, no! <laughs> I don't have it memorized, but it's one of the things I love. and I think Haven't it you, like, done this one a thousand times on every live stream? Okay, what is it? You do it then. No, I'm not going to. Because you don't know what it is, because I've never be done one, it before. It's going to be one of three. Historic moment, it's be yeah. one of three. No, it was... Uh... Better not be Tiger Tiger. No, stop it. <laughs> it's going to be Tiger Tiger. I could do a poem. No. I oh, could. I can don't. recite no. No. the one... Okay, why don't you stay on topic? Stay on target. The one I could do, the poem target. I can do from heart, all six or seven stanzas is... They didn't ask you to recite a poem, It's though. called... They, they actually asked a question. To an athlete dying young. I, I, I know that one by heart. That's nice, dear. Okay, let's go... Meryl Streep did that one at the end of Out of Africa, by the way. So, my pretentious... Pretend, my pretentious statement... <laughs> my pernicious statement... <laughs> we have a beer yet. <laughs> stop it. That's right. Is, uh, is, um... Solzhenitsyn. Oh my God, she says. He said it would be great if we could uh, divide all the people up into the good people and the evil people. Uh, but if we were, if and then kill all the evil people, he goes. Unfortunately, if we were to do that, we would cut. We would. We would cut a line between the soul, between the heart of every man's soul. In other words, every person has good and evil. Blah, blah, blah. I know that is pretentious, but... Oh, I almost got him. I like bunny that statement. Rabbit. Sarah's running away, chasing oh, the bunny the rabbit. Kitty. I'll get a different kitty. She's going to bring a different kitty for y'all. Uh, we are going to do uh, some... You know what? I can't even... I'm just going to have to Google the Soldier Neatson quote while she's looking. I don't even know how to spell Soldier Neatson. Oh, there it is. Let's see. And then we say... Divide. Oh, he's not gonna like this. Heart up. They can see him now, by the way. This is Samson. Wait, you can't see him. Get him on the face. There he is. Can you see him? Can you? Oh, he's. Oh, and there he goes. Well, I tried. Bye, sweetie. What? Uh, what are we doing now? We're on Wikipedia. You're live streaming Wikipedia. Oh, here we go. This is what it is, just so you get right. If only it were all so simple. If only there were evil people somewhere and seriously committing evil deeds and then it were necessary only to separate them from the rest of us and destroy them. But the line dividing, dividing good and evil cuts to the heart of every human being. And who is willing to destroy a piece of his own heart? Anyway, so I don't know. That's, it, actually, that's not what the black triangle is. So. <laughs> yeah, when... so Eber says Voldemort... <laughs> Voldemort was willing. Uh, okay. Are you going to add more hubs? <laughs> Sarah, you're supposed to like your husband, see? No, they meant... Oh, <laughs> really, bless, really? <laughs> oh, I see, like your husband. Yeah, they, they said that's a nice joke. Hubs? You guys are making okay. good jokes. They are. Wouldn't murdering the evil people make the good people just as evil? Oh. Morally right and legally wrong, I don't know. It's a nice quote, though. Well, somebody likes you out there, Damon. And when we run out of enemies, we will just redefine good and evil. Of course we can. Uh, that was blessed typing that. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's two. There's Luke and Bless. So 
You never know who's who. I <laughs> hold my arms up as you should, Luke. Hold those <laughs> arms up. Tradable mounts or moats for medallions. Oh, that's an idea. I guess I better stop saying yes to everything. As soon as this live stream <laughs> over, Damien's be like, how could you do that? Why yeah, did you tell them that, Damien? Because if we do uh, every feature, then there will never be a black triangle. Um, battle the evil made me kind. Well, that's good. Ah, Battling ever... the evil in you made you kind. Oh, it hasn't worked for me yet. Getting there, though. Can we get more storage? The ancient storage question. Um, how many? Aren't there like a trillion volts already? How many volts do you guys need? Um, I think we should move on to the uh, contest hmm. portion of the day. You think so? Bunny with tails and many legs. I support bigger stacks. Um. Okay. How about this? We're gonna we're gonna give out. We're gonna do the. We're gonna the Q and A is this. ended. So hold on. I need to talk to Ever. Ever, can you hear me? What do you want him to do? Um, I need him to keep track of prize winners. So we're going to do eight questions, and it's always just very chaotic trying to get all of you to say your in-game names and not your Twitch names. So, Ever, can we do this? When somebody wins, can we have them tag you in Twitch with their in-game name? Nod once if you can hear me. Nod twice if you can. Well, cannot. but he's not going to know the answer to he all of He doesn't have to know. The, no, the person who wins just has to say... Loud and clear. Awesome. Yeah. So basically, if you if you win a prize and we say your name, we need you to tag Ever Otter with your in-game character name and server. Otherwise, I will never have a prayer of getting a prizes to you. So this is for eight of you. That would be really great, and we will remind you all the way through to do that. Okay. Thank you, Ever. All right. So you want to do the first one? Um, Tell yours. them what it's for. It's yeah. yours. Yeah, you no, yours. that's that's you. You do it for me. All right. Well, they can do both. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll say the answer after they say it. Okay. So here we go. Is everyone ready? We're not doing the um the thing where you have to type in a number or whatever. So you, question... you're gonna answer the. You're just gonna type the answer, and the first person yeah. that says it wins. So the question is, what is? Wait. What's it for? Oh, what's it for? <laughs> uh, this is for 15 sockets. How does that grab you? And 15 just for fun. 15 sockets. Ready? Everybody ready? All right. What is Damon's favorite elder boss in the game for gameplay? And you're going to have to keep your eye on those answers. because I'm see watching. Anything. Get those guessing going. Once again, what for 15 sockets, what is Damon's favorite elder boss in the game for gameplay? Not yet. Not oh, yet. Nope. Gir I see it. Giruv won. G-I-R-U-V won. Congratulations! Vanilla. You won 15 sockets! Please tag Ever Otter with your in game yeah. name and server. So, you want to yeah. tell them why? Yeah. Well, the reason why is obviously, and I think this is similar to the people, the players, same things about why they say it. Yeah, I see some other people got it right, but Jirav got it first. So, uh, it's because it involves paying attention and strategizing in terms of. Uh, the spiders coming in and you have to decide which spiders should we kill which should we let through do we care about little ones do we care about big ones uh it adds strategy and 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 different roles it's like you got a tank you got damage dealers but then you've got people that are allocated to kill the spiders on their way in so that's my favorite personally of the bosses in terms of gameplay i thought it was just really brilliant and that was one that cameron did my second favorite boss is the one I'm proud of because I did this one. Are you pat he's patting himself on the back. So it's tell him the answer. Spooky Druda. Spooky Druda. I did I actually did Spooky Druda and I, what I liked about it was sh she was so clean and simple and terse and all she would say is not yet. I like the little not baby yet. little baby Spooky Druda. And she got smaller. I thought it was cute. And she said, yet. And I wrote that dialogue. I wrote the not yet, the not yet, and the yet. <laughs> so That's three yets he gave you. <laughs> so I was proud of that because sometimes less is more. So anyway. But uh, but it, my overall is still Fenella because I think it's better gameplay. But I like Druda. And I also fun. love her name, Druda. I love the name Druda. It's a great name. <laughs> And I think Spooky Drew is a woman. I don't. I don't know if you it all is. feel that way, but I think she's a. I think she is. Okay. All right. Why don't you ask this one? Okay. So this next question, the prize is one vault. Okay. This is a pretty easy one. I think y'all. It this. is. So basically, everyone get ready to type as fast as you can. 
Okay, ready? We try to keep a lot of these big and open. Yes, she's a she. Everyone agrees. <laughs> okay, this is the question. What color hair did Malak have? Wow, silence. Well, that's because there's a delay before oh. after we say it. <laughs> Uh, I don't see it. Nia yet. said there we red. go. Nia got it. Yay! Nia got it. Yep. Yep. Red. He was a redhead. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like writing that question, but I did. Yeah, there's some nice art in the game. There's I think something about the details. Siegfried did a nice piece of Malik with he the did red a hair. Great right? one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This so, is in the original story. Like yeah, I had yeah. him wrote him as being a redhead. Anyway, congratulations, Nia. Please tag Ever with your in-game name and server, and I know you're EU1. And that was for Bolts. Congratulations. Well, and by the way, I like Malik. I think he's misunderstood. Oh, I totally like Malik. Are you kidding me? Because he went around and he sort of wanted to make friends with yeah, everyone. Yeah, they were awful to him. I and every, every community was insulated and they didn't like each other. They all... So in a way, he's actually what brought all of Arden together because they oh, had wait. to team up. You're asking with this one, I guess. I guess I'm asking one. Yeah, we're on number three. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what's this one for, Sarah? Oh, well, dear, let me tell you. It's for a makeover kit. Oh, okay. Why do you sound like that's not exciting? Well, it's funny because, um, you know, they say that during uh, bad times, the one thing that actually sells really well are beauty supplies. Except for I don't think it's true right now because everyone's at home. So do people really want a makeover kit right now? Well, sure. They're... Their tunes are going to get bored looking at their cameos day after day yeah. after day after day. It's true. I guess the six foot separation thing doesn't apply to Arden. People can go no. next to each other in Arden, can't they? They can. Okay. Uh, Faisal Khan says, I don't need a makeover <laughs> kit because I'm too busy looking good. Wow. That <laughs> confidence. I'm too busy looking, looking good. good. <laughs> They're uh, all saying it now. I'm already beautiful. Oh, wow. Nice. The confidence this is yours? Everywhere. Oh, that's the same as mine. That's funny. No, it isn't. We never have the same. What? Yeah, that's, that's mine. Yeah, that's mine too. No, that's mine. Okay. No way. I'm going to ask you all the question now. This is you for one mine. makeover kit. Are you all ready? Yes, this is for one makeover kit. Ready. What is Sarah's favorite mount in the game? Mount. Uh, what do we see? Do we see it? I don't see it. Fungi, unicorn, no, no. Polar bear, barrel, white, white horse. Whoa! Back up. White, white horse. horse. Kavita. Yes, I think that's it's the It's the white stallion. Yes. Um, that finally just became the one for me. I know. There were all these other classic. ones, and I used to like the cute, the this and the that, but there's something about that white stallion, just the elegant simplicity of it. All of my tunes must always ride the white stallion. I know. I always go for the white stallion. Yeah. Cat Kavita got it right. Yes. Congratulations. You're on your makeover kit. Please tag yeah. Eber with your in-game name, in-game character name, and server. So the reason I, so I like it too just because it's a classic, but the one I'm most proud of, I got to be honest, it's the spider. Oh, I hate it. That's my least favorite. That's why I was surprised we had the same thing. And let me out. tell you why the spider no, is my favorite. Me. Don't tell me because it actually involves some fancy math to keep it so uh -huh. unlike i don't know if you all have noticed but unlike all the other zones the spider always conforms to the terrain That's so true. it's facing always it always like the the horse will always be upright the spider won't it will be like sideways on a hill like this whereas the horse will always be like this the spider will be sideways That's true. and that special math it uses special math some linear algebra to keep the Looks spider. Like many of you agree. Many agree with you, Damon. And the other thing about the spider is, uh, it was actually the original model was built by an artist that's no longer here. Was it Adam? Yeah, it's Adam DeGrandis. And uh, one day he just said, "Damon, I did something really great." <laughs> and he showed me the video of a creepy spider, like it was an actual video of a creepy spider coming out of a hole, like. A hole. He said, now look, and he showed the game and he showed that he had done it. He had copied the essence of the spider. He's like, <laughs> wow, like it, was I mean, it was really pretty cool. Because at first he thought, man, these animations are complex. So it was a beautiful piece of work. So I like, I know it's creepy. That's the point. No, I know. I just, when I ride it, I just don't like it. Would you like to ride a little uh, possum, Sarah? 
Sarah has a special love in her heart for possums. That's he's kidding. Um, I have a deep, out. deep, deep aversion to possums. They, in fact, just freak me out in ways I can't even tell you. I know this because we have one living under our deck, and it'll just appear out of nowhere next to me, and I just lose it. That well, snouty, grizzly, pink thing, beady eyes. I hate it. Well, the thing is, anyway. when, a, when a possum's smiling at you, it's like, no, no, God. Like if that would like to me, I was like that should be an elder boss. But right it's there. actually saying hello. If there it's was a giant nice, possum like, elder boss, I'd lose it. I he thinks totally he's saying, it. "Good morning, how are you? No, it's good to see no. you." No, they're like demonic. They look like little demons. But the way they say "good morning, how are you?" If anyone would like to come to our house and carefully trap the possum and their family that are living here, that would be great. That, sir, I think you're you're great. you're applying cultural relativism here against the animal. Damn He's just great. I am. I hate those possums. They just All right, moving language. on. Sarah says no. <laughs> Wait, let me whip it out. That's okay. Wait, did you just read this one? All right. Let's moving on. Moving on here. Okay. So this next question is for a mount, and it's going to be for the depth spectral horse, which is a pretty cool one. That's a good. By the one. way, Samson got mad because we ignored him. Come okay. here, Samson. Oh my kitty, God. Kitty. Yeah, they're getting all wound up because we're home during the day. Um, okay, you guys ready? So for the depth spectral horse mount, the question is, what is Damon's favorite zone in the game? Yes. This is a hard one, actually. I don't think you'll get it. Well, they have many ones to yeah, choose from. Yeah, what's my favorite zone in the game? Oh, no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> And it's my favorite for a very strange reason. Well, how many zones are in the game? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet either. We need to watch this really yeah, carefully. Yeah, it's going fast. If I look uh -huh. weird, I'm sorry. It's because I'm up We're going to have to give him hints at wait, some wait, point. Wait, wait, do you see it? No, I don't think oh, you saw it. Did you? We might have to scroll back through oh, the... Oh, they're going too fast. I haven't seen it yet. Not yet. Uh, it's possible I missed it because they're going by so fast. You it, might have to give them a hint here. It's a zone that uh, Cameron actually created. Uh, might have to give him a better hint. <laughs> within the last two years okay. um it's lower level that should narrow it down a bit for you it's possible it's low, i missed it but i still a low know. level zone very low okay level. i'll give it to this person there we go here. we see it arrow star 2412 arrow star 2412 congratulations you just so the answer was elden elden forest is damon's favorite zone that's the very first starter zone and Let me give you Arrow, the reason. You just won a depth spectral mount. Please tag Eever with your in-game character name and server. Go ahead. Uh, the reason is, is because the starter zone is the most important zone in the entire game for the success of the game. Uh, because it's what they call onboarding. So you have to introduce people to the game and have it interesting enough that they want to stick around but not so hard that they quit because they're like i don't know what i'm supposed to do it needs to be beautiful it needs to be sort of on rails as they say but not so much on rails so that they go this is just a clicker game and so there was a time when we had another guy working on uh the game he's gone now and he he was i was saying we got to redo the starter zone it's not good enough yet he says, I've already changed it three times. How many more times are we, are we going to change the starter zone? And I said, at least 17. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a lie. It's probably well into the 20s we've done the starter zone. We've, I'm sure we've had at least 20 iterations on the starter zone. And it's because if people quit your game at the beginning for the wrong reason, nobody ends up playing. So... That's why, and I feel like Elden Forest, I felt like Cameron eventually really nailed it. And it's really hard, even though it's such a simple zone, but you get combat, you follow the arrows, it's very simple, there's drama at the end, so to there's me... There's drama throughout. Yeah, there's drama throughout. Well, we have good voice lines. Though. I mean, honestly, there's one little problem with the zone still, but I don't think we're going to change it, but it's 
fishing sometimes seems to confound people the first time because it's just weird. Sometimes I go in the zone and I just sit and watch people, and they'll be and I'll see them swimming around in the water. <laughs> it's like that's not their fault. That's our fault. They don't know yet. They're like, why are they swimming around? They seem confused. They're going in circles. It's like, what's going on? It's like, okay, that's kind of a thing. And so I actually wish that that was mining because mining is just more obvious. People are like, oh, I see rock. Click on rock. Rock makes cool animation. Yeah. But mining didn't make as much sense in that zone because it's more of a pastoral zone. So that's why I ended up being fishing. Uh, to me, that's the one little problem with it. The other problem is that it's not instanced and sometimes that would cause problems but generally that doesn't seem to cause problems right now so we're fine with it so uh, oh yeah and we did it with visibility tech is how we do it you know i'm sure you all know by now that uh we can make npcs visible to one person but invisible to another person so anyway blah 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 so yeah that's why next question uh okay let's say ask that one so i guess it's search analysis one sure you probably don't even know what that is, though. <laughs> the prize is... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, ready for a new question. And this one is for a Sunken Tooth Sojourner wardrobe pack. All right, I'm going to ask a question. Ready? Yes, here we go. In the Pyron zones, there are often cryptic and bizarre references out of nowhere to mooing. <laughs> what film inspired Sarah to throw that in? Go! Go. <laughs> what movie inspired Sarah to throw in mooing into Pyron? A number of M NPCs will just moo. Sometimes <laughs> they'll just moo. <laughs> uh, Barnyard, no. Aliens, no. But I got everyone mooing now. Twister, no. Wizard of Oz, no. The funny thing I is, hear mooing. See, that's one of the lines. We actually talked about this movie. Documentary, no. Today. I know it's funny. I was worried when you said that. Oh, I didn't realize. Mooing the movie, no. I hear the movie. movie. E.T., ah. no. Boy, I think I'm going to have to give some hints here. We've already talked about no, this they movie did, they today. Did, they, we didn't talk about it, though. I corrected you on it. Um, okay. Oh, somebody's getting closer with Grail, but that's not it. Um, I'll give you a hint. Frau Bruca! <laughs> <laughs> does that help? Sarah, by the way, does Frau this all Bruca. the time. Sometimes it, in the middle of the night, she just goes, Frau Bruca! <laughs> I don't, actually. <laughs> Uh, nope, not Life of Brian. I like that you're on. Spaceballs getting closer because that was Mel Brooks. Young Frankenstein a... got it. All right, we have Wendy a winner. Marydance. Wendy Mary Dance. Woo! Yep. Yeah, so it's uh, it's when the horse is Winnie. You know, every time they say Frau Bruca's name, no matter where they are, you hear it in the background. The, so, the, uh, the horse is Moo? No, so I, in, in ours, oh, I made it you change it from I changed it to, to Mooey. This is one of those things where, like, nobody will ever know, but I'll know. <laughs> I'll know why they moo. Okay. And now you know why you hear mooing. <laughs> All right. This one, oh, the next question is for Wendy, a character slot. Don't forget to tag Ever. I'm going to say this every time. Tag Ever server character Wendy name. Mary. Yes. Congratulations. Next one's for a character slot unlock. Character slot unlock. Here we go. Oh, yeah. What fantasy board game, board game, inspired Damon to create VNH? Oh, back, somebody says Wendy was second. Back in oh, high school. Back well, in high school. Once again, that question is, what fantasy board game inspired Damon to create VNH? Okay, Wendy was second. We'll figure out who was first. Okay, whoever won first for Young Frankenstein, please tag Ever. Okay. We'll, and sorry, we'll trust you all. We didn't see. We, it goes very fast when we read chat. Corrosion. It's corrosion. Yeah. Okay. Corrosion with the player. Congrats. It's, it's not Dungeons and Dragons, by the way. It seems like it. everyone's like Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I have no idea in English. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it wasn't magic, but wizard? No. Can I put in the Joker? It's a pretty hard one. I actually talked about this on a prior I might need live hints. stream. Maybe you should give them hints. That is a, that is a hint right there. Yeah, but I'm if they weren't on the live stream, then that's well, not very well, helpful. Well, a lot of these people were. Nope. Doesn't not. look like they were. <laughs> Well, give him a give him a second. All right, give him a second. Uh, yeah, they these these games could be played solo. They were. I don't want to give away too much because then you could just. Uh, so it was a board game, like a little pocket game. It wasn't uh, an MMO. Uh, it wasn't a 
PC Black game. <laughs> tic tac toe. That's it. Luke gets it with tic tac toe. No, that's that's a what joke. inspired him. That's I know. A joke. I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> okay. Harry Potter, Monopoly. I think they're gonna need more of a hint. And by the way, when I was first working on this, that in high school, the name I had in my mind was Drambar's Secret. That's what I was gonna call the game. Wizard. That's close enough. Yeah, it's wizards, plural, but yeah, you got it, James. All right, James, 875, congratulations. You just won what I already forgot, character slot unlock. Yeah, there were two games by Steve Jackson, Wizards and Melee, and they went together, and eventually it became GURPS or whatever, which is a horrible name, but Wizards and Melee, it they was do, called. They do remember you talking about it on the live stream. Yeah, that was it. All right, congratulations, James. Please tag Ever. Yep, someone says... Dude, that's an old game. I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, he just aged dude's an old name. Uh, yeah, it's not Wizards 101. It's Wizards. Uh, <laughs> it was called The Fantasy Trip by Steve Jackson, who's still making games, by the way. Go Steve Jackson. Oh, there's Roxanne Steve Jackson, the guy who wrote lots of... Yeah, that's oh, exactly there it. There you go. He would do Choose Your Own Adventure. I, I used to do those. I loved those little Choose Your Own Adventure games. I, I played those. And the worst thing is you play them solo and you roll a dice and your character dies and you're like, there's no one around. You're like, maybe I should re-roll that. Get a different <laughs> result because I don't want to start all over again. And then you're only cheating yourself, but whatever. So did you do that? Did you cheat a lot? Did Occasionally I'd be like, I that was unfair. I need to roll that again. Oh, cheater, dude. <laughs> cheater. <laughs> all right. Uh, there was an exploit in that game. There was an exploit in the game which was... <laughs> If you cheated, nobody would ever know except for you. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm going to read one. Uh, this one's for a campfire toy. And this is a question about Sarah. Uh, and the question is... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. What is Sarah's favorite pet companion in the game? Start guessing. And this is for a campfire toy. Can we win twice? No. Chicken. chicken. Oh my God! Somebody got it right Spring off the back. Sprig of Halcyon Spring. got it right. How did you know it was the chicken? I love that dopey little thing. <laughs> love the way it waddles around. Now you I know don't why like she... my dumb chicken. Now, she... now you all know why she's with me. Dun dun dun. Bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> Are we having all fun right, yet, sir? All right, Sprig. Make sure to actually that yours. I'm gonna remember, but go ahead and tag Eva anyway. Um... So congratulations, and now for our fi see others like the chicken too. Look at all these chicken lovers. <laughs> oh, that's why Spring's wife loves it too. What, there's something going on there. Something about that chicken. Okay, so this is the very last question, and let me explain how we came up with the answer. This is a very subjective question, but strangely, Damon and I both came up with the same number. So the answer will be a number, mm -hmm. and you have to guess it. And that's how we'll know who's going to get it right. So everyone, this one might happen fast. Here we go. Are you ready? How many... Oh, sorry. I bet you want to know what the prize is. This is for a battle polar bear. The big daddy. Yeah. Good one, huh? Paddle, battle polar bear mount. And the question is, how many days in quarantine will it take before Damon and Sarah kill each other being cooped up together? Go. Let's see. Tell me when you see the number, Damon. I see it. Who do you see it? You see it? War Edge. War Edge gets it right. The answer is one day. <laughs> I thought it was a trick question. It's not. I thought it was a trick question because I thought the answer was it's already happened. <laughs> yeah, it already did happen this morning. Uh, I thought but, it was uh, last night. That was last night and this morning. So anyway, <laughs> this is only day one of quarantine and we are not. War Edge it. got it. With Congrats, one. War Edge. Please tag Ever, <laughs> and you won yourself a battle polar bear and wish us all luck with the not killing each other. Yeah. There we have it. Okay, that was, wow, that was an hour and a half almost. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Been nice knowing you, Damon. It's true. <laughs> yep. It's going to be a long few weeks. <laughs> Like, I personally am dreading it. But, you guys uh, will be surprised. All the future live streams will only be Sarah. <laughs> It'll just be me. They'll be like, where's Damon? Like, what happened to Damon? I don't know where he is. <laughs> Damon's in the other room. Yeah. It'll be like Psycho where I'm up in the attic. Oh, yeah. I'll lock you up. <laughs> the mad in my, man in, in my the rocking attic. chair. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, so everyone, thank you for tuning in. This was fun. Well, 
to everybody. I hope you're all doing good through this crazy time. I uh, hope you're all safe in your houses. Yes, and we want you safe. Um, yeah, I hope you're not going crazy and hope you're healthy and all that stuff. So When you go crazy, just go and game and hang out with your friends and do the whole V&H bit. That's what it's there for. Just relax. Um, in fact, maybe we should even do that. Some, play some V&H while we're while we're here off work by the way the cats are getting mad now let me go find one the cat will say goodbye oh you keep going Sarah. okay um well let's see so just to recap april 1st um also sometimes i like to play jokes on people on april 1st so if you see i'm just gonna give you advance warning not everything you read might be true so maybe the easter eggs aren't even true who knows so there's that and we'll see what other things I can come up with. Hey, oh, Sarah. I know what I forgot. I Sarah. forgot a big one. Sarah, I know. Sarah, yes. Damon's, Damon's hushing me. I forgot a big one. So you know that we all have these new alternative to key things now. I so. want every, everybody to say hello to Anzo, our kid. This is Anzo, who you've met in game before. <laughs> Anzo, look. Who is that? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so so since we don't do keys anymore, as soon as this live stream is over, I'm going to activate that little new feature we have, and every player in the game for the next 24 hours is going to receive a red Derrick key. So you can expect that within the next half an hour. Yay! It's our thank you for watching, and thank you for playing, and we know that these are hard times, so keys are nice to get through hard times, aren't they? I don't know what you've done with the camera, but... I just wanted Enzo to get in the shot for a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. All okay. right, so we're going to say goodbye now. And I'm going to get those prizes out to you. What time is it? Uh, yeah, I'll get them out within the next hour and a half or so. So once again, everyone, please tag Eva what, who you are. And thank you, everyone, again for just tuning in. And we'll get a forum post going with those teaser ads of... The fifth child. Oh, wait. One more thing, Sarah. Oh, Damon's got more. Oh, jeez. I got one more. Oh, now you get to see the other one. You're getting the full effect You're here. getting the full effect. He doesn't... He's not very photogenic because he's so dark. That's Samson. <laughs> we call him Riggles because he's got... He's got a little... We call extra. him Fat is what we call he's him. He's got a little extra right down here. My secret name from him is Dumpy Adonis because that's what oh, he is. Oh, oh, okay. He says no. All right, you guys. We're going to we're gonna say goodbye now for real. So have fun at home. Stay calm. Stay cool. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Okay. Let's see.